Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Lafayette police say the body that was found on Gilman Street has been identified as 37-year-old Christopher Smith of Baton Rouge. The cause of his death is still under investigation. A person of interest is in custody after a mass shooting at a 4th of July parade in suburban Chicago. At least six people were killed and dozens hurt when a gunman opened fire from a rooftop onto the crowd below in downtown Highland Park, Illinois. A curfew was in effect overnight in Akron, Ohio, after police released video showing the officer-involved shooting of an unarmed black man. The deadly shooting of 25-year-old Jalen Walker ignited protests Sunday night. The Biden administration is proposing up to 10 oil and gas lease sales in the Gulf of Mexico over the next five years. The move would go against the administration's promise to end new drilling on public lands and waters. Insurance Commissioner Jim Donilon will provide details on new laws that are said to protect policyholders and provide an update on insurance cancellations during a media briefing later this morning. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10 Rodrika Taylor. For the 4th of July, Broussard celebrated its annual Independence Day Festival. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. The annual ERATH 4th of July Water Wars took place yesterday as fire departments from all over Acadiana competed against each other to call themselves champions. The teams competed in front of four judges as they battled one another and the competition came down to Team LeBlanc and Team ERATH. It was ultimately Team LeBlanc who won, becoming this year's Water Wars champions. I believe LeBlanc is back to back. Champs, baby, in Erath, Acadiana at Village Doe in New Iberia today. The Acadiana Eats Kitchen segment on the road. I'm Gerald Grunig. We'll have much more all day long on California News 10. I have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to see any of that come our way to the California studios, but it did look good this morning. Uh, right now, the weather's quiet. It's just warm and muggy. We're going to be hot and sticky for the afternoon, but there will be some more scattered storms today. Some rain chances are a little bit higher, so if you're out and about during the second half of your Tuesday or you're wrapping up your work day, you may need the umbrella then. Gerald, can you please bring us back some I know, donuts, please. some I, breakfast items, I know. you know, any kind of breakfast things. Let's let's he bring them from Village Doe in New Iberia. He's been there all morning long for Acadiana Eats. So Chris loves the caramel apple. I'll just I'll, I'll just I'll take, take the breakfast anyway. sandwich. But you know what? Yeah. I'll be in Iberia Parish today. Yeah. So I may be able to swing by. Oh oh well, Danielle. We'll there you go. There's your opportunity. <laughs> there. You're doing a story in Generette from yes. noon, right? Yes. So you'll have that. For us, for meet your neighbor, and we'll see you then. Thanks okay. so much for joining us here on Fox 5 2. Have a good morning. Bye.